Yo, what is up guys? This is Waifus here. So today I'm just gonna be showing you guys how to make a cinematic and how to use replay mode and all that fucking shit. So first things first, you're gonna want to go into your settings and uh, turn on all of your replays, your creative mode replays, your large team mode replays, all of that shit. It does not matter what game mode you're in, you can use replay mode at all times. I decided to go into battle labs just so I can have like a quick cinematic made for this video. So after I got into battle lab, the first thing I did was actually I just landed and started dancing. I knew exactly what dance I wanted to do, so I just started doing it as fast as possible. I wanted to get done. I actually got all of my clips done in less than two minutes. It's actually kind of insane how fast I got it done. So after I got done doing the first clip, I decided to just go somewhere else in the same area and just started emoting again. I did the uh, the snooze, popping your knuckles emote, whatever the fuck that is, just because I thought it would be cool. I could do something cool with it. After that, I decided to just keep it simple as fuck, do one of my um, classic cinematic things, and I just ran in a straight line. The reason why I wanted to run in a straight line is just so I could like capture the the skin running and just get good angles of the skin. It turns out pretty cool usually. Like I'm sure if you've seen any of my other cinematics, you've seen me capture feet and all that. All right, so if you're on console, you can actually ignore this part. But if you're on PC, you want to go to your settings and you want to make sure everything is on maximum settings as long as you can run 60 FPS on max settings. If you can't run 60 FPS on max settings, you might want to bump it down to like high or medium. Me, I can run 60 FPS perfectly fine on epic settings with motion blur on at uh, 1080p. It's fine. Uh, if you go below 60 FPS, your cinematic can start looking choppy. But you want it to look as clean as fucking possible, which also means having high graphic settings. So yeah, if you don't have high graphic settings, put them on. After that, you just kind of want to go into your replay file and just go and get your replay. Alright, so right here, I just kind of skipped ahead to where I started dancing at first, where I was doing the uh, the walking emote, yeah, right here. Alright, so right here, I was just trying to find a good moment to start my cinematic shots or whatever. I was going to use drone free just because uh, I like having complete control of the camera while I fly around. Like, you can use drone attach and it, uh, it locks onto the body. If you use drone follow, it locks your camera onto the body. Um, so right here... I was just zooming in trying to find a good uh, FOV for this shot and I eventually did find a good FOV. Um, right here actually wasn't the shot that I took for the cinematic that you'll see at the end of this video. But right here is, so what I did is I slowed it down to 10% speed so if I wanted to I could speed it up if I wanted it to be full speed but if you don't slow it down before you take the clip and you try slowing it down in your video editor it can look choppy which is kind of scary. And you just want your uh, cinematic to not look framey at all. So right here, I was just kind of, um, I was just letting the dance play through just so I could work with it on my video editor. So I, I only clipped for 15 seconds, so I just kind of played through the whole dance until it ended. And then I just kind of skipped through and like I just found a bunch of different angles that I could do. So I got one from the front and then I got one from the side, one from the back, one from the bottom, one from the top. Just a bunch of different angles so I could switch between each angle during the cinematic just to make everything look many, really clean. Many minutes later. All right, so after I was done getting all those different angles, I decided to uh, start doing the same thing for the uh, second one where I started popping my knuckles, where I did the popping your knuckles emote. And I actually did a first person shot on this. I started off with a first person shot. If you don't know how to do first person, basically you want to do drone attach if your character's moving. I always do drone attach for uh, first person shots. And then you want to zoom out and kind of like place your camera inside of the skin's head so it looks like you're in first person. It looks like it's actually the head. And after that, you want to go and turn off autofocus. Autofocus kind of makes things blurry at times. It just focuses on shit that's not actually there. It just bugs out. After that, you kind of want to just find a way to center yourself with your email or whatever the fuck you're doing. If you're shooting a gun, it doesn't really matter. I centered myself out and I got myself a nice little clip here of me just popping my knuckles. Turned out pretty fucking cool. After I popped my knuckles and all that, I decided to just go through and uh, find a bunch of different angles to match up with that. I got one from the side, one like spinning around my character. Basically, if you don't have a bunch of different angles, your cinematic can start looking repetitive in a way, or just like drawn out and long and boring. The more scenes that you have, the better it looks. It'll keep people's attention more. Or keep, it just keeps people's fucking attention, you know? You don't want people clicking off your video right away. Um, but after that was finished, I did the exact same thing, but with the running. I slowed it down, got a nice shot uh, with drone free, and uh, I just kind of let my character run past the camera. I zoomed in, I let the character run past my camera, got one clip, got a clip from the front, doing the exact same thing. Like, this was really quick. 
these are really easy to do just foot shots running shots right here i got a side shot but i used my mouse and i followed the character and then i kind of drifted away from the character just to kind of give it a, a cool cinema effect a movie style effect after that i just wanted to get some uh, scenery cinematics so i just kind of like chose a random spot in that location and just started flying around and looking around just in a smooth fashion i guess try to make it uh, as like one consistent motion and that was for the intro and this one right here is for the outro i just wanted to just like fly straight through and just get a cool little shot while moving my camera around just so it seemed like there was more movement because if uh if you don't add camera movement during these it just looks bland if that makes any sense yeah after i finish getting all the clips for my cinematic you need to get music you can't edit your cinematic without music nobody's gonna fucking want to watch it if it doesn't have music it has to be clean as fuck so i went to soundcloud.com before you use anybody's music make sure you try to ask the person because it's rude to use somebody's music without asking but after i asked elez he said yes i was looking through his songs and i found a fucking golden ass song a really good song Yeah, the shit's fucking fire. There's no, you can't say that shit's not fire. Okay, all right, all right. So after you get your music downloaded and all that and put into your stuff, you want to put all of your clips into your video editor. And what I did here is I took the very first clip, which would be my intro, and I just kind of trimmed it up so it'd be easy to work with. And then I got my music, put it on there, and I just tried to line it up with the music. I cut out a good bit of this guy's intro for his song because it was just really long for the song. I wanted like, I wanted the intro or the cinematic to kind of like vibe really well, and I wanted his voice in it. And I only wanted this intro to be like 20 seconds long, so I couldn't make it fucking. I couldn't make music long as fuck. Right here, I was just trying to find a way to line it up. Um, I actually trimmed right here, right on the beat drop, right on the very, very first beat drop. And then what I did is I kind of zoomed forward a couple seconds. Yeah, right here on the beat drop, I just kind of zoomed forward a couple seconds. And what I did is I actually added a, a time lapse or like a speed up effect to this. So it just seems like um, after the beat drop hits, the video just kind of like slides forward it makes a cool little effect you'll see at the end of this video when i show the outcome of this project after that if you guys don't know what black bars are i'm sure you've seen a hollywood movie black bars is just a black bar on the top and the bottom of the screen it makes everything just look more professional and clean uh this is just a perfect personal preference you do not have to do this i will always do this um just because i like how it looks it makes everything look clean as fuck after I did the black bars, I decided to add in gradients. If you don't know what a gradient is, it's basically a filter, but for uh, a pi like video editing or picture editing or Photoshop and shit. So basically what I did is I added in a black gradient and I made it 10% opaque. So it was like barely showing at all. It just made it shadows a little bit darker is pretty much what it does. And then I added on a second gradient. This one's a purple to black one. Um, basically what this does is it just adds a little purple filter, changes the, uh, the vibe for the whole video makes it look different after i finished with the gradients i decided to like go back to the first beat drop that i had um or the first beat drop of the video and i just wanted to add in like some extra shit to it to make it like pop out or stand out more so it catches people's eye and um i added a transition right at the beat drop so basically i was transitioning into the same video and just it makes a cool pop effect you like if you couldn't see it there you'll see it at the end of the video just watch the whole thing through you're almost finished you have like another fucking minute I, I promise guys okay so after that after the first clip was done the intro was done i added the second clip that's the uh me walking that email where i'm walking and i was just trying to like trim it up and make it look nice so, yeah i just tried to trim this uh the second clip up as nice as possible i lined it up with the beat and uh it was time to add in the third clip that second the first clip or i guess the second clip didn't really need much editing i just needed to trim it and uh the third clip i added in and i just kind of repeated the same actions from the first clip and the second clip over and over again 
for the entire cinematic. It was really simple. I was basically repeating the same thing nonstop, making sure everything was lined up perfectly with the uh, song that I used. Everything just looked smooth and consistent. Yeah, this took me about, I would say, 20, 30 minutes of editing. It didn't take me too long to make. It was, uh, it was pretty fun. Many, many minutes later. All right, so after I was finished doing all that, I decided it was time to um, trim the song. I usually add in like an extra couple seconds as an outro and let the song fade out, but this time I didn't. Um, just because I wanted to finish as quickly as possible. I made sure everything was even and lined up and I double checked it. And now it's time for you guys to see the actual video. Right to the sun goes down. Bet I'm waiting up. Till the sun comes up. Yeah. Right to the sun goes down. 